What is up guys, McAfee Speed coming at you. Great episode today, giving it the beans in the 50 caliber bullpup. 4,500 PSI, ready to rock and roll for us today at the range. Because I've never shot this rifle at this power level, I am starting off at that super boring distance of 25 yards that I typically get heckled for in the comment section. I'm not a good shot and I can't see well. There's a restriction on my license I can't see so well. So this is the distance that we'll be starting at today and we'll be mostly focusing on general Generating both a group of 25 yards with those lucky seven 247s as well as what kind of energy you can expect out of the box before you put the power tune at 4500 psi let's go ahead and get right into this gentlemen this has probably got to be the absolute main thing that i love more than anything else about this rifle magazine fed 50 caliber I'm actually a little bit intimidated by this. This is actually a little bit nerve wracking. After everything that's happened on this channel recently with big bore air guns. I'm a little bit scared of this thing. We always start on the left hand side target. Let's switch it up. Let's, uh, let, let's buck the norm here. We're gonna go with the right-hand side target. Point of aim is in the center. Fire. Six, eight, eight. I don't think that we're having great success at that 4,500 PSI fill level that we just got to. Let's continue to shoot this thing and see if the bell curve is kicking us in the ass without that power kit washer set that we got from Terry Fox. It, can't, it doesn't have the power, does it? It needs a bigger spring to f hit that valve. Exactly. I'm learning. I can be taught stuff. You see? I can be taught stuff. 247 grain, lucky sevens, right hand side target, shot two. Seven, two, one. Greater authority on that shot for sure, at least as far as the auditory report. Let's continue to shoot this. One thing I do want to show you guys is the absolutely great spring tension that this magazine happens to have. Great. Really easy. Shot three. Fire. Seven, six, four. Let's check our pressure at this point. So I'm only just now getting to the recommended pressure levels that AEA had given me when I first opened this rifle out of the box. The one thing I will say about working at this higher fill pressure level is the fact that it looks like I'm gonna get significantly more shots out of this platform. One more time on that magazine cycling, just for the boys who want to see it. Yeah. Oh, fuck that. Fire. Eight, one, one. Really starting to pick it up in the velocity category. Honestly, it's kind of an all over the place group. I'm more used to the smaller calibers that generate those tighter groups at this distance. But then again, like I said previously, I'm not a good shot. So there's a lot going on here. Let's see if we can't hit that Dodger blue torso there next to that target. Oh, we got one more, sweet, super good. Dodger blue target. Fire. Ooh -hoo. We slapped that thing and I saw a slug kind of pop off it in the aftermath. Let's see what happened. Where did it go? It's here somewhere. There's no way it left. Where it went behind, that? dude. To your left. 
That's where I saw some movement, dude. There's a lot of lead down here. Ah. Yeah, dude. Man, the footage is gonna really, really, really tell it. Look, look at that, guys. Look at that. Still no penetration through these plates, even at this high level of power. All right, guys, I wasn't able to find that round for you, but I do have a few more lucky seven rounds left, and we've got a good amount of the air charge left in this rifle. I think it's very important to show you guys exactly how many shots per fill you can get out of this 50 caliber rifle at that 4,500 PSI fill if you don't have the power kit. I mean, this might really extend your shots and smiles per gallon as far as this platform is concerned. The bane of my existence, the sun is coming out. As soon as I look through that scope, man, it's like the light of a thousand suns. Oh yeah, the sun's already an issue. Left hand side target. Fire. Nine, zero, seven, dead nuts bullseye. Eight three zero. Sun is already fing me. No. Nine three four. Nine one four. We're making some ripping power right now. That's good. What is my pressure at, boys? Still in excess of 150 bar. That's deep in the dark green section and still totally viable to shoot. Let's see how many shots per fill we're really gonna get out of this thing. I'm impressed already. I mean, realistically, 12 shots per fill plus on a rifle that's rated for five consistent. I like it, I like it. What, what else in this price point does that besides nothing? It's making it look like I can shoot today. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Maybe this rifle really is just punching that far out of its price point. Shot 12 with the previous shot at 874 velocity. Still firearm power levels. Like it or not, firearm power levels. 811. No rounds left in the breach, but plenty of power left on the crony. Let's go ahead and just load the last of the Lucky 7s. God, I hate running out of ammunition, but let's just load the, the last four Lucky 7s that I have into this mag and see what happens. At first, I didn't know what that was. I thought like your phone was playing a sound. Got four shots, got plenty of velocity. I'm staring directly into the might of the sun, and I've got an untouched torso target on the left side. Four shots for all the glory. Let's see if we can't get 16, 16 shots out of one fill. Gonna try. Fire. Hit. How fast can we go? Miss. Don't know. Gonna slow down slightly and try and connect. Come on, baby. Six, six, seven. And the sound that this rifle made is somewhat suspect compared to how it's been sounding up to this point. We are at 
75 to 80 bar currently. And this is the velocity that we're currently sitting at, 667 with a 247 grain slug. Pretty much Dragon Claw stock power level, 16 shots down the road can't be more pleased with today's 4500 psi shot string from the 50 caliber aea challenger bullpup a lot of times in life when you start dealing with higher end items you get told features you get told capabilities and oftentimes they come up short when i get told five consistent shots and i get 16 shots with decent energy out of it that really gives me a good feeling about aea as a company as a whole trying to cater to the more budget-minded connoisseur in the air gun community currently all right guys i think this would be a great place to go ahead and end today's episode but if you like today's episode give it a thumbs up if you want to see more content like this make sure you subscribe for more with that notifications button so that you can stay current on the channel as well as when new videos come out if you really like this video make sure you share it so that somebody else can see it and i'll catch you boys in the next one